Hi dolls! Welcome to my channel. My name is Latoya and for today's video I'll be creating this super easy monochromatic cut crease. I'm telling you guys it is so beginner friendly. Okay actually it's a faux cut crease but nobody would know. Nobody's gonna know. The palette that I'm using for this cut crease is actually from the Juvia's Place. It is the Moth palette. It just so happened to be one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that they have, especially mini eyeshadow palettes. Without holding you dolls much longer, if you want to see how I created this super duper easy monotone or monochromatic cut crease, keep watching. To get this look started, we hydrate it and prime the face. I did not show the primer that I used in this look, but I will make sure that I put everything down below in the description box. One thing I forgot about this Juvia's Place eye primer, you have to shake this stuff up because otherwise liquids, oils, everything just be squirting everywhere. But anyway, I'm using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer as the base of this look. I'm using, I believe, number two. It is number two. It has to be number two. I'm pressing that in with my F concealer brush and then I'm going on top of that with a translucent powder and use my favorite fluffy blender brush to apply that all over my lid. Now we're about to jump into this Juvia's Place the Moss palette which is my favorite palette out of the collection and those are the shades that I'm going to use. I will put the names but I, they don't have the names. So I'm going with the lightest shade that I pointed out and I'm just going to apply that as like a couple of strokes on the outer corner this is supposed to be like a full cut crease I know I said that earlier but I'm saying it again using the same pencil brush that I just used to apply that light mauve pink I'm going in with that darker shade the darker matte shade and I'm just gonna apply that on the outer corner and then I kind of took like a medium blending brush and I was trying to like pat it and blend it out that was not working for me so I end up going in with a more dense shadow brush and that worked wonders at first I was thinking that this hack wasn't going to work out but after I switched brushes brushes do make a difference after I switched the brush the brush was amazing moving on to my next eye you can actually see how easy and effortless it was for me to dab that shadow out than it was with me using the larger medium sized blending brush I'm going to slow it down right here so that you can really see the motions that I'm going in. I just want you to notice that like I'm not going in more of like a circular blending. I'm actually like dabbing the color. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush and I'm just adding a little bit, just a little bit more of the darker color, making sure that everything is blended, especially going towards the, um, the crease area, kind of giving me that blended smoked out look. And of course, I'm taking my favorite blending brush and I'm applying some translucent powder on my brow bone and just making sure that everything is blended out on that top area to my liking. Now, this is where all the magic comes. I'm taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor number three. I could have used the Juvia's Place, the one that I used before, but I think I misplaced it. I couldn't find it. But anyway, I'm taking an angle, a thin angled brush and I'm just applying it as a thin line where I would originally set my cut crease. I'm just applying the line. So instead of doing the whole eye or inner corner of the eye, I'm just doing a line. This is where it happens, okay? I'm using my finger to apply this chrome eyeshadow. Now you can use a shadow brush, a flat shadow brush to do so, which you're gonna see me do a little bit later just to make sure that everything is pat on right there. You see it? <laughs> so you can use your finger or you can use a brush. I end up using both because I wanted to make sure that everything was like very precise. And y'all can't tell me that don't look like a cut crease. So I'm going back in with the small blending brush and I'm taking that extra color that I just showed you. It's like a medium dark color that's in between the lightest color and the darkest color. And, and I'm just blending in in the area where the foil meets the mat. I don't know guys, you, you tell me, what do you think? Do you think this look like a good faux cut crease? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some color correcting under my eye before we move on to applying the shadow under the eye. Thank you. 
now that I got my lower lid together, we about to make the bottom match the top. So with a thin shadow brush, I'm applying the darkest shade that I used on the outer corner on my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna bring it halfway in. And then with a small blending brush, I'm just gonna blend all of that together into that outer, outer wing as well. And then with my favorite large blending brush, I'm just gonna blend on the bottom part. Y'all, I don't even know. You know what, I was watching like a comedy series on Netflix. I'll put it down below on exactly what I was watching. But anyway, let's go on back to the, <laughs> to the makeup tutorial. Now I'm just applying mascara on my lower and upper lashes before I apply my falsies. And then I'm going to jump into my face routine. Doing that, you, got, you know what guys, we're going to just sit back, relax, do some makeup and chill a little bit. Listen to the music, enjoy the vibe. And then I'm going to jump back on later on to wrap up the look. Your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, y'all. OMG um, y'all this full cut crease was like the easiest makeup look that I've ever done. You can't tell me if it took me 20 minutes or 5 minutes to create this look. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and while you're at it check out this next video that I picked out just for you. Thank you dolls for watching and remember you're made for more. Bye!